The civil society groups include the Ghana Integrity Initiative, Citizens Movement Against Corruption, Center for Democratic Development, and the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition. They argue the current state of affairs in the country necessitates immediate action from citizens and stakeholders. The Constitution gives us the power as citizens to determine our destiny and heritage as a people. When we see that things are not going well, it is our duty to speak out, to reject, and to denounce all forms of wrongdoing. When we sit and look or watch aloof, then we are making a mistake. Posterity will judge us. The coalition is requesting government accountability for national interest issues, including halting the sale of significant stakes in SNIT-owned hotels. We believe that there should be a stakeholder engagement in the preparation and development of accountability and anti-corruption coordination legislation. We believe that all these turf wars and disputes and sometimes publicly between our agencies are not going to help us to fight corruption. But if we are going to overcome that and to streamline that action, we need legislation to cover their coordination. Even an MOU is not enough because we cannot be guaranteed that everybody will comply if it's not a legislation. They requested the president to submit all petitions on issues similar to the petition for the removal of the special prosecutor. It is also important to note that the president fulfilled his mandatory obligation under the Constitution and the OSP Act by forwarding the petition to the Chief Justice. Moving forward, we expect the president to remain consistent and forward all petitions before him to the Chief Justice without delay. The coalition is determined to take further actions if government response to its demands is delayed.